Christmas or 24 days and you will be seeing a video from me every single day. Last year I did Vlogmas and it didn't really work out, let's just say. They didn't all <coughs> get uploaded in time and I just don't think they were interesting enough. So this year I decided to still upload a video every day but just a bit more of a funner video. So not a vlog but something else. Um, so here is the first video. Excuse me if I cough a bit during this, but I've been ill, which means it's now the 30th of November when I'm filming this, so I'm not very in front, but I've had to wait until my voice gets a little bit better. One, the Christmas background will probably be changing a lot throughout because this is how it looks, and I love it, but then I couldn't work out, I just couldn't fit, like, me in and all of that, so you're going to go with that today in a bit of a tree. Um... We'll just see how it goes, but yeah, the Christmas background will probably be changing. And my jumper, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal, home alone quote, from Mark. love this. Um, anyway, we're going to get on with it because it's been over a one minute intro, but yeah, I really hope you enjoy my 24 days of Christmas videos. If you're not already subscribed, please do, and yeah, come back every day for a new video, which is very exciting for me because this is probably <laughs> the biggest promise I've made, and I actually am going to stick to it because... It's Christmas and I do love Christmas. So this video I have never seen before. <coughs> um, I searched it and no one's done this video and I thought it was quite original for me. So obviously, as you can see for the title of this video, I'm going to be ranking the John Lewis Christmas adverts. Now, that they have been a staple, like a Christmas tradition, and you know when you see it that it's getting near Christmas. Um, I got, did my research and they've been going on for exactly 10 years, so this is the 10th one this year, which makes a really nice number actually to do a top 10 adverts uh, ranked. I have just watched all of the adverts once through, because obviously some of them I can't remember. I can probably remember back as far as 2013, but they go back as far as 27, no, 2007. Um, and then I did a bit of research about each one to kind of get my knowledge to understand the advert better. And then I rewatched them again, and then I made my final top 10 list, which is here. So I'm going to go 10 to 1. Um, yeah, we'll get on with the video because it's been two minutes. Number 10 was Shadows, um, which was the very first one they released in 2007. Now, I actually don't like this one at all. Like, as soon as I watched it, I was like, nah, I do not like this. So, they have definitely improved. Um, if you haven't seen them, I'm going to link them all below um, so you can watch them. But basically, loads of different people were getting loads of items from the John Lewis store to build a shadow up of a woman walking a dog. Apart from... The woman walking the dog, funny enough, the dog was done with a dog and the woman was like done like with a lamp and a few other bits. But they also put like TVs and in laptops and stuff like that. And then it just built up a massive random rectangle which isn't meant to be anything and I don't actually know what it is. So basically they were trying to promote their products in an awful way because it just did not work with the shadow thing. That's why I hate that one. Number nine. This was actually the 2008 one, so the next year, and this one is from me to you. Now, this one I also hated because basically what it showed is um, it'd show a person and they'd be sitting there, and then the next clip was an item, obviously, from John Lewis. Um, but they were very predictable, let's say. There was, um, and they did very, that, for me, it was quite an offensive advert because it was very stereotypical. Like, if you know, like... <coughs> excuse me, what your like typical nerd geek kind of thing is, like if you watch a movie and you know what a typical is, there was like three of them characters and one of them had a brain trainer thing, another one had a science thing, um, which is very stereotypical, and then there was like old people and then like the next picture was a sat nav, which to me is quite offensive to old people and it just did not fit right, there was not a story, I didn't like it. So number eight was the 2010 one, which was called A Tribute to Givers. Now this one I don't hate. It's kind of in my middle category. Um, it was where you saw loads of different people wrapping up presents and people who they were wrapping up for kind of nearly saw it and they had to cover it up in loads of different scenarios. Um, now it was a nice one and it had a bit more of a story to it compared to the others but it was the message that I didn't like at the end like each of them have a quote after each one I can't remember them all it was something like um for the people who care about you or something like that like no for the people shows the I don't know search it but um actually I'll put it on the screen right now but basically we're saying like the people who give like you're kind so come to John Lewis but it's basically saying you should be rewarded if you give but it's saying you should buy from them it just didn't work out um yeah 
Number seven, uh, this was the 2012 one which was called The Journey. Now this is actually the first one that I can very remember. And it was the two snowmen and basically, obviously, I don't know, married couple, whatever, but it was like a snowman kind of scenario. And the snowman went to all different places. So like, no, this one snowman, so the male snowman, went to like a river, a mountain, a forest. Basically, it was meant to be looking for the present for his wife's snowman or whatever it was. Um, and then he looked all dull, and then as soon as he got on a busy street, outside a shop, funnily enough, he looked really happy again, and then when he came back the next morning, he saw his wife's snowman in a scarf. Um, for me, that's basically saying, like, the only way I feel that message is, just the only way you're going to find a gift is you come to a store, like, that's the only way you're going to make them happy. But that's not true. Christmas is all about family and happiness. It's not saying you have to buy from a store to make someone happy. Like, basically, it was saying that the person, the woman wasn't happy until she got a present. And I didn't really like that because you should be happy at Christmas anyway. Like, whether or not you get a present, it's all about happiness and family. Yeah. Excuse me, eh, if I keep having drink breaks because... <coughs> I keep on having so many coffin bits. So number six for me was 26 this year's 2016's Busted Box Up. So when this came out, I didn't like it at all. Um, but I'm not placing it on my list because it's okay. This year, actually, I do like that they decided to have a black family is the main family because it's showing the adverts are now kind of, you know, accepting all races and I really like that actually. But there wasn't much aspect of Christmas in it, it was kind of just about a trampoline. Um, they laid a woodland animals jumping on it, which I love that bit where the woodland animal, animals jump on it. But then like the dog the next day goes running on and jumps on it, but he's by himself and which is why I can't, it's like he saw the one of those animals having fun but he couldn't see it that night so we went to see it the next morning and they weren't there but he still had fun but he jumped. So. The message was kind of a bit confusing and it's not much to do with Christmas apart from a trampoline. And that is not really what John Lewis, you know, is known for. Another aspect I did like is, I don't know if this was on purpose, but because it was a boxer, um, Boxing Day? I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I do like that. Number five was 2009's and it was Sweet Child O' Mine. So this one was where you saw loads of kids opening presents, but typical adult presents. Like coffee machine, a camera, I can't really remember much more, I've just watched ten of them. But, um, typical adult gifts. But then at the end, you saw the quote was something like, um, remember what it was like as a child at Christmas. And then you saw, like, the girl looking into the camera, and then when it kind of came out the other way, you saw the woman. And I really like that, because it's saying that even if you're an adult, everyone can enjoy Christmas. Um, it's not just about children. You should still have that child spirit in you, which <coughs> I still did. Technically, I'm still a child, but you know what I mean, like, young children when they're really excited. I'm still like that now, and I really hope I always will be. Number four was the bear and the hare and that was 2013. And this was basically about a bear who didn't know Christmas and then the hare shows him what it's like and then at the end, um, so then the hare shows him like all the other woodland animals have for him but then the bear goes off and then he's lonely and then the hare gives him a present um, and then the next morning the bear like, you see, uh, like, this massive Christmas tree and, like, the bears done it and then all the wooden animals are friends. I just think it's really cute. The message is a bit confusing, though, because the present that the hare got the bear was an alarm clock. Um, well, or just a clock with it, with it ticking. I don't know if that was basically saying, um, you've time ticking to buy presents. I'm not really sure what that was supposed to mean. Um, the message was a bit mixed, though, because basically the wooden animals didn't want to know the hare was a bear before... The bear created the Christmas tree, which is not really a good message. It's saying that someone's only going to like you if you're in the spirit of Christmas. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and yeah, not everyone does love Christmas, so I didn't really like that little twist on it. But because it was the first time John Lewis had kind of created a story out of the adverts, which they hadn't really done previously, <coughs> I really liked it. Number three for me was The Long Wait, which was 2011. Now, throughout the advert, I, basically, it was a little boy, and you saw him not open day one of an advent calendar, and then it showed day 24, and then each day, he was sat there, and he was, like, really upset, and he was like, like, when's it going to be Christmas already, um, and then, kind of, he kept on looking at presents, and then you think, oh my god, he's just waiting for his presents, like, I know that's what all kids do, but it weren't really a good message, and it was just, sat and sad up, but the bit I liked at the end was, the quote was, 
um, something like the person who gives or something like that. <coughs> and it showed the boy waking up Christmas morning and the present he'd been looking at to open. He hand, he like picks it up, walks into his mum and dad's room and gives it to his mum and dad. And it's him giving the present so he can't wait to give the present to his family. And that twist was just so nice because I thought, oh my god, it's a stupid boy waiting to, that stupid child waiting to open a present. Um, so I really liked that it, it was just a massive twist at the end and it shocked me so much that I loved it just because we all assume kids obviously are gonna more like getting gifts than giving gifts. Um, so it was just, oh, it was so cute at the end, like, when the boy gave the present. Um, the only thing I didn't like is he was, like, <coughs> sad for about the whole of December, like, it showed him to be. And it's not just about giving presents, like, on Christmas Day. Like, you should enjoy the whole of December. Um, that's my only little critique on it, that one. So number two for me was Man on the Moon, which is 2015, so last year. This one sparked a lot of controversy, actually, and I know a lot of people, you either kind of hated it or loved it. I loved it. It was kind of more focusing on... Um, old people and um, some of you old people are lonely at Christmas and you should give to them because everyone wants to be happy on Christmas, no one wants to be lonely that is if you celebrate it um, and I just thought it was so cute that the girl saw him and then the girl was like I really need to give him a present and then he smiled when he sees the present coming and then he opens the telescope and he sees that girl and I think it was just really cute because then he was like meant to be lonely and she got him a present and like it made his Christmas and I think it was really cute Um if you want to know why it was controversial and you don't know why, search it on Google. I don't really want to explain why because it was a stupid controversy really. Um, it's more about just giving everyone, um, making everyone feel welcome and special at Christmas. So number one, which was my absolute favourite and I have one minor critique on it, like really minor. Um, <coughs> and it's Monty the Penguin, which is the 2014 one. So this one was where a boy had like a pet penguin and the penguin waddled around everywhere and it was really happy. And then like it'd see like couples together and then the penguin would look really sad and every time it saw like a little part it looked sad. Um, and then at the end on Christmas day you see the boy going downstairs and he's like bought the penguin he has like another penguin. So like the penguin has a friend and it was so so cute and then you see the mum looking in and then it's just the boy playing with the two toys. And I just think that's so sweet like for starters I love penguins anyway so that's kind of probably why it drew me to it. It's just like, oh, the penguin was so cute for a ride. And then at the end where it showed the, um, just boy pet playing with them, like, and then it said, like, give someone the present they're dreaming of or something like that. Um, and I just thought it was so nice because it was, it had all been in his imagination. Um, that's kind of why I liked, why I loved it. Um, and it was all about Christmas as well because it wasn't a bad message to Spain across. It had presents in it, but it did not display any presents that they were selling, if you get what I mean. Um, where was the, a few years they had and it wasn't as good. But this one had a story and it just basically showing him um, with his imagination, which I actually really like because it doesn't directly make you think of, I'm gonna buy something, but that will always remind you of John Lewis. Whereas like the, the badder ones that I kind of ranked, kind of don't. My only critique on it though was that um, the penguin should like be loved by the boy, do you know what I mean? It, it sh might not want another friend, like, if the boys, like, if they should just be friends, like, the boy and the penguin, like, why is the penguin, like, sad? Like, do you get what I mean? Like, it was only a little critique anyway. So there was that video. I took 20 minutes to film this. I don't know how long it was, but <coughs> it's because I keep on having coffin bits. But I hope you liked it. Let me know below, actually, what you rank them or what your favourite one is or maybe what you think of this year's adverts. I'd love to know. I would hope this is something different as well and it starts off the 24 days of Christmas videos in a different way. Um, so a lot of my videos I do know they're not original. I see ideas and I love them but I thought do you know what? I created this idea myself. Well I haven't seen it in anywhere else so I'm going to say I created it myself. So that was my top 10 list and thanks for watching. So come back for tomorrow for day 2 of Christmas videos.